Hi, this is Ms. Zenda, and I want to tell you what the RPE team does for me. They allow students to come to the conclusion that it is our differences that make us who we are, amazing individuals, which in turn gives students opportunities to reach feasible solutions that benefit both parties involved. The RP team definitely makes a difference in how staff and students interact on a daily basis. They have made a difference in my teaching strategies and how I interact with my students and all that's positive. Much praise to the RP team. Thank you for all you do. All right, so uh, restorative practice has made a big difference in my classroom. Um, it's helped me connect better with my students um, after uh, an incident where things escalated you know, unintentionally. And I think it's just created a better, more positive classroom environment. RP has helped me because when I used to have my like, conflicts with my friends, we would always end up talking it out with the teachers. And now both me and my friend Aliyah and Daniela we're back on the same page and whenever we have like an argument we always end up hugging it out or like making each other feel better instead of making each other feel worse about it and we don't like we don't have any more problems anymore because of the way that we fix things and yeah so one time in my classroom, a student used the N-word. We took that opportunity to have a restorative conversation about the N-word. They defined it, they talked about it, and we had open discussion about it. And the students really took to that, and they've asked since then to have more conversations in my classroom like that. Um, well, I can definitely tell you that it's been my personal experience that Restorative justice has not only helped me as an individual and as a teacher, but also as like a colleague and definitely in the role of like a mentor working with kids. Where without it, I wouldn't be able to open new forms of communication, especially with students that are learning a new language. So in some of the times that I've used restorative justice, it's basically come into like trying to explain what restorative justice is to uh, some of our international students, some of our brand new enrollees into MCPS, they don't really have a lot of experience with it. And that's kind of allowed people to see how they can talk to some of their colleagues, some of their own students, some of their own friends, some teachers they might not be very comfortable with. Yeah. RRP really helped me because I used to be late all the time, and now I try to get to class on time. Like, not be in the hallway all the time, now I feel better on my habits. Earlier this year, we faced a challenge in my class where two students constantly engaged in racist comments impacting not only their own relationship, but also the entire classroom environment. That's when I referred them to our restorative practices team. In a restorative circle, the students had a chance to share their feelings and perspectives, breaking down barriers to understanding each other better. Together, they crafted shared agreements, committing to positive interactions and mutual respect. The impact was incredible. RP helped me this year with different type of people because it helps me not get too angry easily and it helps me calm down when I feel more calm. It's easier for me to make more new friends. We use restorative justice and restorative practices in so many different facets of our school. We use it to address unexcused tardies. We use it to address small interpersonal conflicts between students, but the difference between how we do it here and how I've seen it done other places is that it's so woven into the fabric of the school. It's just like math instruction or lunch service. Restorative practices are available to any staff or any student throughout any day of the week. And that has become one of our most valuable assets here at Forest Oak.